You're a good girl now. That's a girl. Howdy there. <laughs> Tough guy. We're off. Although, in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us in the eyes of the Lord. We will pay respect to the dead. Father, we face this wretched specimen of man. Otis, he was called. He murdered more God-fearing innocents than will ever before being mercifully taken down as a bounty by a by a righteous man. We must trust in you for the reason, Father. We know it is all your plan. Amen. He won't be missed, Father. Do you mind? You're certainly right, but please, it's not your turn to speak. Hello, cat. Hey there, cat. You the bounty hunter? Be seeing you. Deal round.
Whoa there! Get the hell away from me! Oh, shit! Slow now. Stay here. <laughs> So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. A debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes. 
Sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah! I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. You want to work? Let's do it. Yep. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place, finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail, or it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, n not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here by Manzanita Post. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. <laughs> 